all right so apparently there's a player survey now available i have not looked into this at all i don't know what i'm getting myself into but it says right here worldwide campaign player survey what is it talking about the worldwide campaign we had i am so confused let's see let's see what we're getting into um what's my age i am 31 to 35 i'll actually be 32 next month did you participate in the dokkan battle voting campaign dude my memory's so bad i'm gonna say i didn't know about it because i'm not completely sh oh wait yeah, yeah yeah that's that's the one where they talk where they where we had to vote between beerus and super saiyan god goku the easy a's so which one would come first okay if you replied i participated in the dokkan battle voting campaign please select the extent of your feelings toward each of these options when voting it was fun it gave me the opportunity to talk about talk to other users reading other users replies was fun i was glad i could sell my opinion to the operation team i mean for me it's i'm kind of middle of the road pretty much i really do try and keep an, a, a very objective point of view on certain things so i mean i would say someone would agree actually it was fun because it gave me the opportunity to talk to other users i mean i do that all the time so i don't know what to say um someone agree reading other users replies was fun i don't remember being able to do that for the voting campaign unless it's talking about twitter it might be talking about twitter which i didn't i didn't really do that so i was looking forward to the event where the results would be implemented yo where's the guru event i thought that was supposed to be here right or was that only here for a week man okay if it's talking about the guru event i i strongly agree i wasn't influenced anyway in any way i would slightly disagree somewhat agree disagree so if you replied i participated in the Dokkan battle voting campaign please select the extent of your feelings toward each of these options after knowing the results i felt more like playing no strong feelings either way because i'm, I'm going to play the game no matter what knowing the results was a chance to play the game what that doesn't make any sense knowing the results was a chance to play the game i'm a, I, I don't i don't know what to say to that <laughs> I'll be completely honest. If that makes sense to someone else, comment below, but I, that doesn't make any sense to me. I wasn't influenced in any way. Um, middle of the road on that one, I guess. The Dokkan Battle voting campaign was an event where you would choose your reply to questions like, which one would you like to Extremes Awaken first? It's like they were reading my mind. Did you find the theme of both votes in the Dokkan Battle voting campaign appealing? vote on which one would you would like to extremes awaken first i would say somewhat appealing because we do get to control which one comes out first but at the end of the day they're both going to come out anyway vote on which one is the key to absolute strength oh that was the hidden potential one yeah i actually did find that one really appealing because i thought they might have brought the guru event back permanently so something that you could do daily permanently but I guess not. So I, I was excited about it back then. But since Guru, the Guru event left, I don't know why they don't implement that permanently into the game. It just doesn't make any sense. It's not like it's way powerful or anything like that. So it, it's a very good event, but I don't know. I just feel like they should implement it permanently. Please choose from the list the three items you find the most appealing as keys to absolute strength. Oh, let's read through them all. Training locations, training items, awakening medals, link skill level. Link skill level nowadays, especially with certain link skills, like very specific link skills that have a significant buff after they get to level 10. Uh, skill orbs, potential orbs, Hercule statues, aged meat, Elder Kai. Elder Kai, because you're able to raise super attack levels here's the thing is like pretty much the strength of anything is how strong the card is and therefore you want to you know the ideal situation is to rainbow a card so you can get you know their full hidden potential system unlocked they the idea is to level up their super attack fully so you can get the full potential out of that and obviously link leveling them is uh very important to help them reach their full potential as well nowadays so so we choose those three uh did you participate in the burst mode social media campaign share the conditions you have selected yes yes i did if you replied yes or didn't post or i didn't post but i read the post about the burst mode social media campaign share the conditions you have selected please select the extent of your feelings toward each of these options i was interested in burst mode i would completely agree i was inspired by the content of the post by other users related to the burst mode no strong feelings either way um i felt more like playing the game after reading the content of the post by other users 
middle of the road. It was fun because it gave me the opportunity to talk to other users middle of the road. I felt more like playing the game after reading this, not the section, the reaction of other users to my posts related to birth to the burst mode middle of the road i mean i'm gonna play the game regardless um you guys be honest with these surveys if you you know if you really want honest feedback from the devs and honest actions from them you gotta answer these surveys honestly so um i am answering them honestly i'm not doing it just because it's easy i am actually middle of the road on a lot of this because as a content creator i'm gonna play the game regardless i wasn't influenced in any way middle of the road uh, no I, I would completely agree on that because I, I really wasn't influenced either way understood how much fun the burst mode was i mean i wouldn't say it's like super I, it is something different i'm gonna say somewhat agree um if you replied yes or i didn't post or read the post about the burst mode social media campaign share the conditions you have selected have you played burst mode following this campaign i played burst mode for the first time thanks to this campaign i think that's me i played burst mode more thanks to this campaign I mean, that was our first burst mode on global. If you have any other thoughts or messages for the operation team, et cetera, regarding Dolcom Battle, please write them here. Should I, should I do the lifelong legendary fix the friend system in, the, in this survey? <laughs> no, I, I probably shouldn't because they did kind of fix it. They, they gave those, I guess you could say, quote unquote, dev units um, in the friend list. So I'm not gonna, I'm not really going to say anything about that. All right, all right, I got a good one. I got a good one. Please give us a playable beast. I'm gonna capitalize this. Beast Gohan sooner rather than later. I understand that they're you know getting ramped up for the uh, eighth anniversary, so I'm not I'm not gonna push this narrative quite yet. Even though they did fumble <laughs> LR Ultimate Gohan, but you know after the anniversary. I'm going to be pushing this narrative a lot in my videos and my posts, whatever it might be. Be like, where's Beast Gohan? Where's Beast Gohan? Where's Beast Gohan? Yeah, I think it's good. Confirm. Not the craziest or most interesting um, survey to say the least, but uh, there it is. There's my survey. If you have any thoughts about it, let me know down in the comments below. I know that sometimes the dev team and the player base it, it seems like we don't connect with them very often that they're not listening to us but you know this is the best way for us to you know share our honest thoughts and opinions about things so that they can take this feedback and hopefully hopefully listen to us and um and take the honest feedback and actually do something with it so um just take the you just think of it as, as an opportunity for you to express all that anger without it without expressing it disrespectfully in a way so that they can actually listen to us rather than um us just throwing our words at them at the end of the day the dev team they're human beings as well they have families they you know they're people so um i think uh there should be a level of dignity when we want our voices to be heard you know if you're new to the channel you know consider hitting that red subscribe button joining the crew i'm officially calling the subscriber base the crew it, it kind of represents who i am i'm a very simple guy it's crew with the k by the way so uh yeah we're officially calling it the crew and uh so yeah if you're new join the crew and consider hitting that like button and supporting the content but regardless i do appreciate you for being here and i'll catch you on the next one